So this is editing Laura here. Now this video I did a while ago when a collab for the Skeleton Crew, that video you've already seen, was first sort of organised and I filmed the video and I edited it and then I went to upload it just before I um, it was due to go up and realised that I hadn't read all the things about what we were supposed to be doing properly and I had to refilm that one. So, <laughs> so this is what I did for the collab, but this isn't the collab. <laughs> so, so I had to re-edit this one so that I could still use the footage. But if I mention anywhere anyone's name or the collab or anything, you just ignore that because it's not part of the collab at all. <laughs> I, I, I'll try and edit all those bits out, but if I leave any bits in, that's that's what's happening. So this is just going to be my Halloween skeleton Day of the Dead glamorous kind of look. So hope you enjoy. Hey, Laura here. This is going to be my last Halloween look. Now, I probably mentioned it before in some other of my Halloween videos, but we don't actually do Halloween here. Um, it's, it's coming a little bit more, so I can get the odd accessory in the shops and things but not many people do it and um, I could count on one hand the number of times kids have come to my door for Halloween <laughs> because they just it just doesn't it's not really much of a thing maybe in a bigger town it'd be more of a thing but in my town it's not really a thing and um, so I don't get to do Halloween looks much I never do that did them as a child we just it just wasn't around at all when I was a child so um, I, I'm getting to play dress up because of YouTube. <laughs> so I am going to do in honour of a skeleton look and I got these skeleton earrings which were inspired by Anya from Anya Stamper because um, she was wearing skeleton earrings and I really liked them and I looked all over the place and couldn't find any and then I saw this one place that had some so I snapped them up and so I'm going to do some kind of skeleton look but I want to be a slightly glamorous skeleton. So do I know what I'm doing? No. Do I have any special effects makeup? No. I'm just using normal makeup and I have no idea what I'm doing because as I said I don't usually do Halloween looks. But I've got a variety of things in front of me and one of the things I'm going to try out is some jewels possibly. And then I've just got a few of my singles here. These aren't apart from this one which is kind of pop single. The rest are just ones I've depotted from either a BYS palette or the Sophie X Revolution palette and I don't know whether I'll use this, this is the Wet n Wild Pink palette, it hasn't got a white in there, it's got a pale pink so I'm not sure if I'll use that or not but I've got it, I've got some glitters and shimmers and my Wanda 2 Aubergine Glitter Liner and um I don't think I'll use it, but I've got my Revolution Glitter palette, which I think I'll end up decluttering because it's just, it's not, yeah, it just it, <laughs> I'm, I'm pressing quite hard and I get hardly anything on my fingers. Well, it always proves me, but you, know, you, you try and do a swatch and it's just, it just sticks to your finger and you can't get it off. So I, I don't know about these glitters at all. I wouldn't recommend buying them. I'm sure there are much better ones out there. So I may or may not use that. I haven't actually decided yet. As I said, I'm not entirely certain what I'm going to do, so I'm going to stop rambling and just start somewhere. What am I going to start with? Um, I, I, I have a vague idea, but I really... I don't quite know what I'm doing. And I didn't wash my brushes because I know I'm going to be using a lot of dark colours. And um, I forget, I'll just wash my brushes after I use all those dark colours. I'm going to start off, I think. i start off with this one, which is uh, Strawberry Sweet. Is that what it says? Yeah, Strawberry Sweet from the Sex palette. I think that's what it's called. I can't read my own writing on the back. <laughs> And I'm going to start off with this. I haven't 
from the rails or anything. I didn't even put any eye primer on because as I said I have no idea what I'm doing so I'm out of my normal routine. I'm gonna put some eye primer on my lids. So I'm just using my Milani eyeshadow primer. He says you can't put eye primer on after you've already started. <laughs> I've done it before and it hasn't been a problem so <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, I'm gonna go in with this colour here which is a really dark plum from the BYS Rebel palette called Sexy. So basically I'm just gonna build up the colour around my eye. And it doesn't have to be even. Doesn't matter if it goes patchy. Because I don't care. <laughs> With the kind of look that I'm doing. I look crazy already. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this black from the BYU Struggle palette and it's called Revolution. Even doing my brows today. So I'm kind of going for a skeleton day of the dead kind of vibe. I'm looking at myself on the viewfinder and I look really crazy. <laughs> So I think, I think I'll do, will I? It's really hard when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> um, I think I'll do my foundation. And I think I'll use my daughter's foundation because it's lighter. I haven't got any white. Why? Yeah, I think I will. Hang on. <laughs> I've used this a few times now, so I might need to buy her some more. <laughs> I keep using her foundation when I do these crazy pale looks. If she doesn't watch my videos, she won't know that I've used it. She'll just be like, oh, I don't have as much foundation as I have here. Because <laughs> she's um, at university at the moment. But um, she usually stocks up on some makeup when she comes home because mum buys it for her, so I'm buying it anyway. <laughs> She had the other weird foundation in <laughs> Okay. So, here's what I'm looking like so far. So, what do I want to do next? So, I'm going to go in with this colour here from the Solar Flare BH palette called Pulsar. Need a brush. And I'm going to put that on my lid. And I'm going to use my Wonder 2 pencil in. Um, I should say. My eyes are watering now. I don't want my eyes to water. Just imagine the mess it would make. And then I go back in with this really dark one and just go over that liner. I'm going to use a little bit of glitter glue. I'm just going to put some on that gold. And I'm going to attempt to go in with this glitter from Essence, which is called I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> 
spilt it everywhere. So it looks like this. That's quite big and chunky. So how to pick this up? And now I'll have glitter everywhere for the next week because that's what glitter does. It goes everywhere. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do the mouth now. So I'm not going to talk through this because I have no idea what I'm doing. So here's where we're at so far. Now what do you think? I feel like if I go like this with my lips, it looks better. Okay, I'm gonna put some jewels on. These are just some that I got from Kmart. Use these ones at the top here and the air fiddle stuff. These are really easy because they're all already all stuck together. <laughs> the middle one doesn't want to stick. Keeps popping up. As soon as I move my eyebrows, it pops up. Hang on. <laughs> feel like some lash glue might be required. I've nearly finished. Um, my black pencil has run out, so I just have my nose to go. And there I have finished my Day of the Dead skull kind of look. I, I did buy some. Um, little flashing skin mm. earrings which I was going to put on but I can't figure out how to turn them on <laughs> so I, I guess they're not going to work <laughs> so 
say, how do you think I did? Just using normal makeup, no special effects makeup, and a few jewels that were very cheap from Kmart. I didn't put much mascara on, but I don't think you'd even notice. <laughs> I wonder, I'm just gonna try this. There you go. I put a bit of the Jumbo NYX pencil and milk on my waterline. Happy Halloween everyone!